I'm gonna throw up. What the heck? Why did I spend so much money? What the heck is wrong with me? Hi guys and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, then hit that subscribe button because I upload new videos every Sunday and Wednesday now, so double the fun. I am doing a little bit of a different video today. If you are obsessed with YouTube, like myself, you would know that there is a trend going around for what people spend in a week. So I decided I'm gonna hop on this train, board, hop on board, hop on this train, whatever. I'm going to hop on board and do the same thing. I haven't looked how much I spent that week. It was a little bit frisky though, I just know it. Oh, you don't want to be in the video? Okay, okay. Either up or out. Those are, those are the rules, okay? If you want to be with mom, you have to stay here. Hi. For those of you that don't know where I live, I live up north in a very, very small town. It's pretty much like just a town that you would go through to get to somewhere else that's important. I actually kind of want to know what the population is. Hey Siri. What is the population of Chalk River, Ontario? So the last survey that was done was in 2016 and it was 1,029 people. So now, 1,030, woo woo. Just kidding, but anyways. Yeah, everyone was doing like, what I spend in a week living in LA or living in Florida, living in like all these like bougier places. Well, Florida isn't bougie, but like, LA is so it was like stuff like that like New York City and I'm like I'm gonna do Chalk River Woo! so let's see how much I spent in a week I'm scared I don't know if I'm mentally ready for this but we're just gonna go for it so I did it from a Thursday to a Thursday so the first Thursday I spent seven dollars and three cents on snacks at Giant Tiger and I'm like do you know what that's not bad seven bucks Pfft. we all good and then Friday, I spent $7.93 at Value Mart on snacks. And that was the point where I'm like, do I have a problem? Like, all I do is buy snacks, but we had people over and I just like wanted snacks. I like snacks. Snacks are life. For real. Then Saturday, I spent $75.65 at Canadian Tire. I love Canadian Tire. What did I buy? Oh, a Christmas present for Kyle, so I can't say it. Then I spent $588.49 on my activewear company, Zaya. So if you have seen that video or if you haven't, um, then you should probably check it out. And I love the activewear, it's amazing. So I had to buy a starter kit, plus I bought $280 worth of gift certificates so that I could give them away. So that was kind of a lot of money, but it's like it'll be worth it in the end. I'm obsessed with the stuff and I'm so happy I did it. Uh, but yeah, check that video out because you'll probably be obsessed. Then I spent $31.18 on Home Depot wallpaper because we were redoing the bathroom in the basement for the renovations, so that just had to be done. And then that was a total that day of $695.32. So like, you know what, a frisky Saturday to say the least. Sunday, uh, I spent $50.04 on gas for my car. So like a necessity. Then on Monday, I had my pole fitness class. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see my little pole videos every Monday. Um, I didn't actually spend any money, so I kind of just took an average of what I think it would take my car to go to pole class and back. So I just averaged about $8 for gas. So not bad. Good Monday. Um, Tuesday, I spent, uh, I was going to say $95. I don't even see a nine in this, so I don't know why I said that. Um, $25 on this fancy agenda. Love it, I love agendas, I love highlighting stuff. <sighs> Obsessed. Then I spent $56 on a phone case. Oof. This phone case, it's just clear, fancy, because I bought a new phone. I needed a new phone, so I waited specifically till Black Friday to get it, so that was why, but I did get the phone for free, which was good, but I had to buy the phone case, so that was $56. All good in the hood. Then I spent $36 at the drugstore on birth control and lipstick. Kind of a weird match, but it's like, I love lipstick and I need birth control, because hashtag no babies. Uh, so that was a total on Tuesday of $117. Not great, not good. <laughs> okay, so now we have Wednesday. I spent $19.87 at Canex, which is like the military store. You can buy couches, you can buy a steak, you can buy literally everything, an Xbox, 
it's the best store ever so i go there all the time so i probably bought just food and then i spent 175 dollars and 15 cents at the gym so again this was a bad week because i started a new business i had to renew my gym membership and i had to buy a new phone so it just happened to all be in one week not great before christmas ah uh, so that was a total of 195 dollars and two cents that day and thank goodness this is the last day then on the last thursday i had spent 26 dollars at canadian tire on like an oil yeah oil for my car and then a filter because uh, they were like on a massive black friday sale so that was good um and then i spent 35 dollars on craft bandicoot for our nintendo switch and i'm so happy because i freaking love that game it's the best game totally worth the 35 dollars and then i spent 111 dollars on groceries that was a necessity i needed food and that was a total of 207 dollars so i'm scared i'm scared dan are you scared you ready for the grand total not good. I'm gonna throw up. I spent $1,287.34. What the heck is wrong with me? Bane, what is wrong with your mom? She has an issue. What the heck? What the heck? Why did I spend so much money? You're telling me, sister. So anyways, to conclude, yes, that was a disgustingly amount to spend in a week, but also... I started a new, what did I start? <laughs> what the heck? See, I can't even think now because I'm so ashamed. Um, but I needed a new phone, so I waited three years to get a new phone. So it's like, it's not like it was just all of a sudden. So new phone, new gym membership, and new business. So really, and there's some Christmas presents in there. So these aren't things that would be always, like this week I probably spent like a total of $80. Uh, but yeah. That kind of makes up for it. So anyways, I wanted to share that with you. And I also wanted to say that even if you live in the middle of nowhere up north, you can still spend a lot of money. <laughs> uh, I couldn't imagine living in LA if this is what I spend in Chalk River. So anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, all that fun stuff. And check out the links below to my activewear. And I will see you in my next video. Say bye. Say bye. Say subscribe to my mom's channel.